title of our project is Unpacking Potted History and for me it really is unpacking because we're finding out things about Megsborough and the history of the potteries all the time and that includes the, um, the type of ware that they used to make, where they used to export it to, how that relates to the local population, whether people have relatives that have worked in these potteries, have collected some of the pieces, may still have pieces, or even that they dig up pieces from their garden. They still find shards from the potteries from the 1800s, which is incredible, really. It's really part of the fabric of the landscape, but also part of people's lives. Yeah, and it's quite interesting because I've had thought of, and I'm sure a lot of people do think of Mexborough as an old, an ex-mining village. But in fact, previous to the mining, this we found ledgers of who was working where in Mexborough in the 1800s, and it's just they all worked at the pottery. We can use clay as an imaginative material that it really is, and we can look for that to. We can use that to rediscover history and rediscover identity of places and also use it to make something that's contemporary. So we're really quite free of that, but it's really good to look at the way that pottery was so much part of the industry within Mexico. Well, and it's also been really good as a way into the people of Mexico because they all yeah. do have these connections. However remote, they have connections with the pottery, whether their ancestors worked in the potteries or they have found stuff in their gardens. Um, and it has triggered all these stories that they've told us about their rich lives. They've been really flattered that we've been interested and when we've collected stories and then we've made a map on a market stall and they've, which has related their stories and then they've come back the next week and seen them there or somebody else has come and seen a story that they have had some input into in the past and that's, that's sort of uh, snowballed the effect of people getting interested in what we're doing and returning to us and following us. So it's been great in that yeah, way. Absolutely, and getting involved with some of the craft methods that we've been offering, such as paper lithography, printing onto wet clay, throwing, um, press, modeling. modeling, press molding, mm -hmm. and lastly <laughs> flower making, because we are bringing to life some of those 2D patterns from the world. We really wanted to work in non-traditional art workshop places so we chose to work outside starting off um, on the market. Now also we've got an art car as well which is called the Mexbra Pottery Art Car or Mexpack. A lot of people have began to recognise it, they know it's around, they want to get involved in it. Um, people have been painting it, helping us decorate it uh, and also working from the van. I think one of the things that we hope people will gain is, is confidence actually. Just by having a go at something that might seem quite daunting to begin with and you know we do manage the activity so that everybody can produce something that they can be proud of. And also with that, that first involvement or the first interest it may lead to further things so they could, uh, they could join as a volunteer, they could get involved with the workshops on a regular basis, they can follow our Facebook updates, they can um, get involved with other things that are happening within Maxborough, the other arts activities that are happening, and also with the general right up our street project.